Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And today, kind of a simple video. We're gonna show how to use an industrial or a full-size regular air compressor to use for your airbrushing. And um, also, because we're using a full-size air compressor, we're gonna uh, hook up uh, an HVLP. It's a high volume, low pressure. There you go. Spray gun. Got this from my brother who works on cars. And uh, he told me this is a beauty, a German-made SATA. Uh, he told me this is uh, one of the better out there. So I've always wanted to use one. And uh, I couldn't because I use a hobby-sized air compressor. So, But for this, we will be going with a full-size air compressor. And um, it's not too difficult. You're just going to get the right fittings. And unfortunately, it depends on your airbrush. Um, I did get a package on Amazon of different fittings, and then some of these I got at uh, at the hardware store, uh, Home Depot, and I went to Lowe's. Those are my two local big hardware stores in my area, and uh, also uh, Harbor Freight. And uh, you should be able to get everything you see in this video at any three of those stores. Uh, Harbor Freight pretty has all this stuff at, at a good price, too. And um, I will be testing a different Harbor Freight compressor soon it's a whisper quiet one this is not and uh, we'll be going over that uh, anyway you need the compressor I'm going to show you that it's behind me in one second I got to unbox it yet and uh, we're gonna need a nice hose the compressor does not come with one this is a 25 footer um, I'd recommend a 50 foot if you want to put the air compressor in the other side you can go out another room because they're really loud however once they fill up with air they don't really come on that often when using airbrushes because you're using such a little amount of air pressure uh, you can run it for a minute and then just plug it unplug it and let it you don't have to leave it plugged in and just you should get a lot of air out of it so uh, we'll go through uh, each of the fittings here in one second so you do need that and then you're going to need of course your regular hose I'm going to use the regular hose when it comes to the airbrush and for that reason is it's lighter and easy to use this is my uh, spray gunner brand, and um, what I mean is, I'm gonna use. I left my quick release on the end, so we can switch between all of them easy. And it's much lighter to work with that coiled one, or even the other ones, the industrial ones. Are, they're much heavier. You know, you they're made for working with the heavy equipment. So because we're gonna be using this in the air booth, the spray booth, we want to go with a lighter hose. So that's what we're gonna go with. So this end. Put that back. This end is all set. This is my straight up quick release, and um, it's in a uh, this is a one eighth hose. So we want to go one eighth to one quarter. This is the size one quarter. It's the size of the air compressor hoses. One quarter. You can see the difference to one eighth. We want to shrink her down. So that's uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this hose to fit into that hose. All right. Before we begin all that, let me show you the air compressor. One second as I pause it and flip the camera. Where I am, I flipped the camera 90 degrees behind me. Uh, here it is. I picked it up. I picked up this one at Home Depot. Uh, rigid. Uh, great reviews. Not that it matters. We're only going to use it for this review. It's, it's no big deal. If I like the performance on the spray gun, I, I will be keeping it. Um, these are very loud, and you just can't get around it. They're just loud. What you got to do is you're going to fill these things up with air, and then let's unplug them, and you're going to go. You should be able to paint two complete kits with the amount of air that you guys are going to be using in one of these. This is a six-gallon. Uh, I'll open it up in a second. This is a six-gallon pancake. And uh, it's 150 max PSI, beautiful. So uh, we're only using, you know, at a time, 20 PSI. So at the very beginning of the gauge, it's got a pressure gauge on it, and you can attach two hoses. This didn't come with a hose. That's why I bought that other hose. Um, all right, let me uh, pause the camera. There's no exciting unboxing. It's just the compressor. So let me get it out of this thing, and then I'll show it to you. All right, here it is. We are out of the box. All it was was the compressor and uh, a manual so it wasn't an exciting unboxing here's where we're going to adjust the air pressure all right here's the air pressure here is uh, how much is in the tank 
Um, you can see it's standing up because I turned it on and let it run before we uh, start this video because it's so loud. But I want to show you how loud this is and uh, the fact that you could just let it run. It took me about one minute. I unboxed it and uh, it's only a couple minutes now between I unboxed it and showing you this and it's already right here. Um, I got it plugged in outside of the room and uh, actually once you get it filled you can turn it on and leave the room like I did it's so loud it's that loud that once it's filled come back in one to two minutes I was at 150 I turned it off and here it'll stay it'll stay a long it'll probably stay for a week at this 150 where are you 125 so and then uh, out of here or here it's got two outputs we're gonna dial it in at uh, uh, 20 psi is where we're gonna start with but here's how loud it is <laughs> No need to go on any further. So that's how loud this baby is. And uh, but like I said, you don't have to let it run a long time. I let it run for about a minute. I got up to here and turned it off, and uh, that's where it's probably going to stay. So uh, that's it. You can actually unplug it and bring it towards your bench if you've got a shorter cable. Uh, I mean a shorter hose. If you want to leave it out of the room permanently for noise reasons, I have several rooms over. Um, I can put it in another room completely, and I leave it on, and I. It won't be a problem with. I might get a 50 foot hose. Should I keep this thing? And then no, no problem. Uh, but that's the problem with these uh, people are working these on construction sites. They don't care about the noise. They're outside or wherever. It doesn't matter to them. For us, it's a, it's a big deal. Um, you won't be using this in an apartment. But you could go in a driveway, turn this thing on, charge it up, and bring it in the house. You probably get a week out of it uh, with what we're doing. So uh, there is that. You know, and it was only. Uh, 129 bucks, I think, for this. 129 bucks. This is a really nice piece of equipment for that price range. Um, all right, let's go back to the bench. We get the hoses ready, and then we'll come back here and we'll plug them all in. All right, here we are back at the bench, and um, as you've seen by the title, another giveaway. And if you saw my uh, posting on Instagram in the community section here on YouTube. We're going to be giving away a few kits. I got at least three to give away. Maybe, I think I got four to five. I know definitely three. So uh, we're going to try and give some more stuff away. And we're going to try and avoid um, the nightmare of people saying they won and it's a scam. Um, I'll announce it, you know, in a post who won. And uh, don't, don't give your phone numbers. Don't reply as far as uh, giving uh, money for shipping. I pay for the shipping. Uh, I'm not on WhatsApp. I'm on none of that stuff. Don't go to any of that stuff. It's only from me. I'm going to try, as you've seen already in the title, putting a dash maybe between give dash away. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can do it. Because last time I, I mentioned I was giving away and didn't put in the title. And I got no problems. And that's how they're finding out I'm giving stuff away. It's by the headline. Anyway, this is a beautiful kit. This uh, Unicorn Gundam Banshee Destroy Mode. Look at this. This is an absolute stunner of a kit. It's even heavy. The box is beefy. It's a beauty. Uh, I got a few of these. I even got the Master Grade. This is a beautiful kit. You guys are going to love this, whoever wins it. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. You got to leave a comment. And that's how I'm going to pick you. And uh, hit the bell. I need you guys to hit the notification so you know when new videos come up. Uh, it's a little bit delayed here. Uh, this is the 4th of July weekend. And uh, my central air went out in my house, and um, it's been uh, up here in the northeast. It's been a hot few days, and I have asthma, so uh, it's been rough. So I'm trying to get through. I had trouble trying to film the video in the last couple of days, and uh, I was just sweating, and I couldn't really spray anything because of the humidity. So it's been tricky. The room is air-conditioned, and that's why I'm able to spray no matter what the weather is, but without the AC, it's been tricky. So uh, anyway, don't forget to uh, leave a comment, like the video. And you're going to get this beautiful kit. We'll mention it at the very end of the video. Let me get this out of the way. All right. So we already have one end of our hose is done with my standard. If you want me to put that on there. Good. See, my hands are sweaty. So yeah, this is my standard quick release. Just pop her in. This is the pot that we will go into the airbrush. Now, this is the end we need to get it to fit into the bigger hose. So let's prep this end first, and because this end is a, a male one quarter, we need to go female one quarter, which is where this gets in, and this is where the trouble starts. So we got a male to male one eighth, 
So we're going to turn this one eighth into a male one eighth. That's it. Now this also came in the same bag. Turning the one eighth to a quarter. Now you can find other ways to get this. This is probably one too many steps, but this is what I happen to have. Let's see if I can show you guys. There we go. Now we're able to go in. Now. Here we go. I probably need, you know, the tape to keep a nice seal on this, but I'm just showing you guys how to hook this up. Now we are ready. This will now connect directly to it with this nipple, this quick release that's on the air compressor. That's what's built into the air compressor, you know, or we can go right ahead and use this. All right. So either way, now we're prepared. Um, let's go right ahead and just go directly in with this, seeing that the, the compressor is in the room. And there you go. This goes right into the compressor. Airbrush. This is a good, I think it's a 10 footer. So this should do all right. We'll pick one of our airbrushes here and uh, we'll go to town. All right. Now we're going to turn around again and get back to the air compressor. All right, guys, here we are. We are uh, spun around. We got the hose that I just showed you. We're going to plug it right in. Hold on. There we go. Good fitting. All right, so we are in. We are set at 20 PSI. You can go to 20, but when 25, when you squeeze the trigger, it goes down a little bit. That's when you want to do your adjusting while you have the trigger pulled in. I'm just going to pull this out. You adjust and lock it back in. We are ready to go. All right, let's spin around here. One second, guys. I'm going to flip the camera. All right, here we are at the booth. I just flipped the camera. I'm not too close, but uh, that's all right. We're just going to spray some alcohol. I poured some rubbing alcohol in. My, uh, what, which one is this? I got to get the numbers right. PS290, my trigger 5.5 millimeter uh, Pro Combo from Mr. Hobby. It's a great airbrush. And there you go. Look at that performance. The air compressor is not going to come on because it's going to need to refill when you're getting close to the desired uh, air pressure. Ours is 25. The thing's got almost 150 in the tank. It's going to take a long time. Like I said, so you can charge this baby, unplug it, and bring it in the room, and you're, go you're golden. Look at this. And with that, you can do a lot of full trigger pulls like this with this kind of air compressor, whereas my uh, hobby one, you know, it's going to come on. It's going to kick on and off a few times, you know. And uh, so that's a big deal. It's, really, if you're going to be priming a lot, doing big kits, that's good to just pull on, do like you're doing a spray can almost, but using your airbrush. So uh, there you go. Let's uh, flip it back around. We're going to um, put on the uh, spray gun, the real, actual spray gun for painting cars. And... Um, We'll see how that works. Okay, guys. Got it hooked up, as I said. And I put in... I uh, get auto colors from my local auto supply store. See, it was six fifty. dollars a lot in here. I could do a couple of kits. This is Pantone Red. It's actual auto paint. Uh, it's urethane. And um, I use that. I figure we're using the auto gun. I don't go ahead and... And go ahead, I got it turned way down, you know, for the so the spray booth can handle it. But uh, it sprays on nice and even, uh, and it actually doesn't go through as much paint as you would think. And um, here's one I just did, look how beautiful and smooth. So, uh, another great option get a nice, uh, low priced HVLP uh, handgun spray gun for cars with this uh, compressor. And you guys got it made. Um, you're not going to get fine detail things. You're still going to need a nice airbrush. But for a lot of car kits and stuff, these work great. I know a couple of my friends actually use these on their car kits. And their kits look great. But uh, all right, let me take this apart. We'll wrap this up. Head back to the bench. All right, back at the bench. No results. Usually I show a spoon. Here's one. Anyway, um... 
that that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, you get whatever compressor you're comfortable with, what size. You could probably go with a three gallon. That happened to be a six gallon at one twenty nine. Good price at that uh, for a six gallon. I think the ones at Harbor Freight were three. I mean, they had six, but the the reasonably priced ones. Uh, I'm talking only sixty nine bucks. Uh, it's cheap, cheap. Where I think we're three gallon pancakes. So uh, with that, you can get the same result. Um, it, I don't think the tank's going to last as long, and it's going to kick in. This one, I think you can you can run this one for a while, particularly with the airbrush. Not so much with uh, the spray gun. Uh, it's going to use more air. But with this one, as you see, when I sprayed the spoons, I dialed it way down to like as if I was using an airbrush. Um, with slightly different results, much wider spray. Uh, my friends use these to build their car kits. Great results. I'm going to get into this myself soon. Uh, now that I got the bigger compressor, and my brother gave me this gun, and I might even test a few other guns. I'm going to try some cheapies too, so you guys can uh, see what that's like. But now that I got the compressor, I got to learn how to adjust these. It's a whole new thing. Once you get it down, particularly with models, you're not going to change it much because you're not going to be doing anything fine with this. You're pretty much going to be painting a car body, you know. I'm reaching up, guys, sorry. At 124th scale, you know, you just want to get a nice, beautiful coating on that. So that's what I I would use this for. I would use primer on large, maybe 132nd scale aircraft. and Get it done right away. That's what these are good for. But if you buy a real cheap one and you're going to have the compressor anyway, it's good to have. Any Anything else you can have in your arsenal that helps you out is good. And uh, if you're going to save money in, in the process, also good. Now, you've seen I, I, uh, I sprayed... Real car paint. This is a urethane um, through the air gun. It was pre thin, but I put a little more thinner on it. I put uh, some leveling thinner in there. And let's look at the result. Sorry, I'm walking away from the microphone. I'll look at this. That's the color. It matches pretty good, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Pantone red. Is that beautiful? I'm going to do one of my Porsches this color, I think. That's why I grabbed it. Look at that. I mean, it just sprayed beautifully like glass. And the urethane didn't fog up or whatever these new spoons have been doing. It didn't react with it at all. And uh, Sorry, I keep reaching. I did a bunch of them. They all came out perfect. So there's that. So, I mean, as far as hooking it up to the compressor, it's pretty basic. Uh, for me to actually put links to everything, it's tricky because it's going to depend on what you have. Posh airbrushes, Badger airbrushes, uh, Iwata, those are all different. Um, Iwata is the standard that uh, most of my airbrushes have, my Pro Cons, my Mr. Hobbies, uh, the Evolution, Hotter and Steinbeck's, they're all a standard, one-eighth. But the Badgers and those are a little different. I have adapters for them already. Once you get into having all your airbrushes with the quick release on them, you're good to go. Right here. Once, once all the airbrushes have this on the end, get this to fit into the main hose, which is this. And from there, you're going to go a one-eighth to a one quarter and then into the into the collar and then into the airbrush into the hose for the compressor here you go that's the one that snaps in the quick release and then the, the two collars hold these together it's at it it's one eighth and one quarter one quarter is the compressor one eighth is the airbrush now, of course you can eliminate all that if you're going to use this this of course is already one quarter you can use any hose that blue hose we needed nothing except the nipple to put it into the compressor it, bolts right to that instantly so there was no problem there at all so uh, that is it that is using an industrial sized or regular full-grown adult sized uh, air compressor instead of uh, the smaller ones um, that I typically use let me see if I can show you mine from here there she is see it that's my uh, no name from spray gunner wonderful piece of equipment it has worked every day since I've gotten it perfectly and I love that thing um, but I might get into a little more with, uh, I have a lot of car kits I want to stop building. And um, I'm probably going to start spraying them using this uh, HVLP spray gun. So um, we're going to start getting into that. And we will do a, once I get good at it, I'll do a full video on how to paint your car kits using one of these. As long as you have that compressor, because the little compressor I just showed you, the spray gunner, the regular hobby compressors cannot handle this. This needs to have... Uh, a much more industrial sized uh, larger compressor than those small ones it just can't handle it and um, that is it now don't forget 
too. Like the video. Leave a comment below. All right? Don't forget to subscribe. I got a bunch of these to go. Maybe the next few videos we're going to give a kit away. I already showed a picture in the community section of what I have that's coming up soon. And I got uh, quite a few more. And uh, also coming up, I'm going to do a God Hands um, versus Cheap nippers we're going to get some expensive god hands and we're going to go against all the cheaps and we're going to kind of separate it we're going to do who's the best of the inexpensives and uh i have a bunch of inexpensive ones coming in and the god hands are on their way um i let mine to a friend and i let him keep them he loves them so i gotta get another pair they're not cheap they're running for 60 bucks right now that, that is not cheap at all and uh so that is it i want to wish you guys a wonderful fourth of july my fellow americans Independence Day, uh, that is Monday, tomorrow, and uh, please uh, be careful on your cookouts, and if you're doing any fireworks, please be careful, guys, we don't want to lose any viewers as we are counting them up. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. It has been a crazy week here with my AC dying, but uh, we will prevail. We will get through this, and uh, anyway, guys, don't forget to like, leave a comment for that kit, and uh, once more, have a wonderful 4th of July. Thanks, guys, for sticking around. We'll see you in the next video.